So here we are in our third video uh, in our series on video poker at PokerTron, the Tron Dapp blockchain video poker, the first of its kind. This is the first time, to my knowledge, this has ever occurred. This is incredible. So to, we're going to talk about the strategy of how to play. In the last video, we just talked about the basics of how to play. Like, what are you doing? You draw five cards. You choose what cards to keep. Then you uh, you you draw again, and then you get paid out based off your best hand. But we're going to talk about the best strategy to play. And one of the things I mentioned in the last video was talking about the house edge. And I'm going to get to that a little more in this video as well. Um, but first, let's talk about what, what do you need to do? What do you need to think about when you're playing video poker? So first of all, let's just uh, let's play a hand. By the way, I've been playing off camera. I'm down a little bit, as you can see. But I'm getting these freaking PK PKT tokens. We'll talk about that in another video. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and, and watch this full playlist. Okay, so right here, we're going to... You want to think about uh, basically... Two things. One is this pay table. It doesn't do you any good to always play for jacks or better. Like that's that's what a lot of people have the habit of doing, and they're wondering why they're getting crushed at this game. Um, keep in mind there is a house edge, however small, no matter how perfect you play. In the long run, it's gambling. In the long run, you're going to lose. In the short run, you can have a lot of fun. You can win, and sometimes you can win a lot, especially on video poker. But in the long run, you're still going to ultimately lose. It is gambling. So before you play. Make certain that it's okay to gamble in your jurisdiction. And if it is and you haven't played yet, click on the link in the description and start playing. A lot of people, when they first start playing, they'll always come to like, you know, there's a high card, better than a jack, and they'll like want to keep that card. They'll do this. They'll keep it and they'll play. That's not the best play. And I'm going to tell you why. You want to think about three things. You want to think about three things. You want to think about this pay table. And it's really getting the bigger hands is where you're going to um, really win and basically decrease the house edge the most. It's really on those bigger hands. That's where you, that's where you're trying to go for. But at the same time you can't swing for the fences. Let's let's see if we'll get a hopefully we'll get a good one to show you an example. Maybe not. All right, I'll keep here. This is still Oh, well, I'll do this. This is a, So sometimes someone will be like, "Oh, I want to keep the 4. I want to keep the 4. I want to keep the 9. I want to keep the 5." That's diamonds. So I I'm, I'm, I've only got two more to go to get a flush. But that's really not the best play based off of statistics. And I'll show you a cheat sheet in a moment, and I'll actually put the cheat sheet down in the description. The best play based off of statistics is the nines. Now, you may be saying, well, if I hit the jack, I just got to get one more jack to get my money back. Yeah, but that's to get your money back. You're not actually winning. If you get the nines, you have a shot at getting one more for three of a kind or a two pair, which is two times your bet. So... The nines are the better play when you consider the pay table. Plus, you want to look at what poker players call the number of outs. What are the odds? How many different cards do you have to come up to come available? That's what goes into figuring out the best play. Now, really good poker players know all this. They can tell you there's 26 outs, there's 54 outs, there's 10 outs, whatever. Um, you don't have to know that because I'm going to give you a cheat sheet for that. But what you do want to realize is where, why the cheat sheet works or why it's set up the way that it is. It's looking at what is the best hand that gives you the best percentage chance of hitting uh, one of the higher pay tables. In this case, I can already tell you, I know it's going to be there. You have basically four options. You can save the jack for jacks or better. You could save the three diamonds hoping for two more diamonds. And a lot of people will be like, well, there's a lot of diamonds out there. Yeah, but you got to draw two consecutive diamonds. Um, so that might that's not as good as it looks. That's one play some people will do. Um, the other play that some people will do is they'll try to save like the nine of clubs and the jack of clubs. Why? Because they're trying to swing for the fences. They won't get the nine or the jack. But the problem with that is you have to have a ten come up. Even if you got the seven and eight, you got to get the ten of clubs to come up. There's only two of those in the entire deck. I mean, sorry, there's only one of those in the entire deck. So you got to have that one card come up. So that's not the best play either. But the nines is a pretty good play because you got three cards to go. You could end up with two pair. You could end up with three of a kind. Let's see what happens in this case. Maybe nothing. Oh, look at that, two pair. So here's the cheat sheet. The cheat sheet comes right here. So jacks are better, simple strategy. This is from the website Wizard of Oz, and I'll put that link in the description, but I'll also copy this uh, with the link so you can actually just have uh, 
this table here. And what this basically says is, it lets you know what to do. The first thing you wanna keep, if a four of a kind comes up on the first five cards, you keep it. Straight flush comes up, you keep it. Royal flush comes up, you keep it. Highest priority, obviously, three mega wins. You just keep it. If you have four cards to a royal flush, remember, a royal flush is only the 10, jack, queen, king, ace. It's in that order. Highest five cards in the deck, all the same suit um, in, in all five cards. So that's the 800 to one. That's the granddaddy. That's what you want. That's the big win. 800 to one win based off whatever your bet is. If your bet is 10, it's 8,000. That would be unbelievable. If your bet is 100, it's 80,000. If your bet is 1,000, it's 800,000. Think about that. Think about that. So that's the um, that's the granddaddy. That's what you're trying to go for. But if you have four to a royal flush, meaning you have king, jack, queen, king, you only got one card that can come up that you need, but the payoff is so big. Remember, you got to take into consideration the payoff that it's worth it for that one card to take a shot at that one card, take a stab at it. Chances are you're not going to get it, but when you do get it, it's going to be a massive payoff. The next is three of a kind, straight flush, full house. So if you don't have four of a kind, straight flush, royal flush on the first five cards, and you don't have four cards to a royal flush, needing one more, then the next priority is do you have a three of a kind? Do you have a straight? Do you have a flush? Do you have a full house? If you do, those are the cards you keep. You keep the three of a kind, draw the next two. If you have the straight, you keep all five. If you have a flush, you keep all five. If you have a full house, you keep all five. And if you don't know what a flush or a full house is, they show you right here. There's the four of a kind. Any four cards that are the same, four aces, four tens, four jacks, four threes, full house, three of one, two of another. So you got a little cheat sheet here. Flush. A flush is all five cards, the exact same suit. Five hearts, five spades, five diamonds, whatever, five clubs. The clubs is a little clover looking thing. So that's a flush. So this is your cheat sheet. And even though there's a lot here, it's pretty quick to, to learn it. And you can always reference it from time to time. Um, next is, and it's the priority of cards to keep, meaning you don't draw, you keep two pair. You keep the two pair. Why? Well, because you have a great shot when you keep a two pair. It's automatically a winner. It's a three to one winner. And you have a great shot of landing a full house, which is an uh, even better winner. You have a high pair. High pair is jacks are better, by the way. High pair, jacks are better. Three to a royal flush. That's three to a royal flush, by the way, not three to a flush. Again, three to a flush really sucks, but the payoff is so good that if it happens to be three to a royal flush, you keep it. Again, it's the number of cards that it's based off the statistics of improving your hands with the number of cards you're drawing and the number of cards that can help you improve your hand. I want to recap that. That's what they're doing. They're weighing the pay table with the number of cards you have to draw. Let me just demonstrate this. I want you to understand this. So it's based. Oh, I thought I had four to a flush. So it's based off of the number of. So I got three cards to draw. So it's based off the pay table plus the number of cards left to draw and the odds of improving this hand to a much higher paying hand. That's how this cheat sheet is designed. And you literally, you'll start to memorize some of these pretty quick. And I don't claim to be an expert at it. Oh, I lost one. So that's what, again, I'll put this down in the description. I'll actually put the link. It is confusing if you start trying to read all about, there's so many different examples of, um, like so many variations on this game, um, but this this applies to the specific variation that we're playing on Pokertron. Um, I just want to recap this. The following strategy is my simple strategy for jacks or better video poker. Using the strategy on a full pay machine will result in an expected return of 99.46%. That's just over a 5%, 0.5% house edge, half a percent house edge. That's very low. Compared with the optimal strategy, there is an optimal strategy. It's a little bit confusing, so I don't even pay attention to the optimal strategy. It's not as easy, but it's only a, there's less than a 0.1% difference. It's not going to be perceptible. Mistakes in the simple strategy will cost 0.08% or one total bet every 1,178 hands. To use the strategy, look up viable ways to play an initial hand on the following list and elect which is the highest on the list. 
A high card means jacks or higher, such as high pair, jacks or higher. I want to show you something for a moment uh, because this isn't full play. This jacks or this is not sorry. This is not full a full pay um, pay table. One of the strategies if you ever play in a casino is you look at these numbers right here, specifically these numbers, um, because I'll show you. This is the full pay table right here. Royal flush pays out 976 to 1. Straight flush pays out 50. Four of a count pays out 25. So 976, 50, 25. 800, 50, 23. 976, 50, 25. 964. 850, 23, 864. See, the difference is right here. So where does the odds, where if it doesn't pay out 900 and something to one, where does it go? Because this pay table that I just showed you does not take into effect the bonus. They have a FOMO round bonus and they have a flush round bonus, two different bonuses. And I'm gonna be covering the bonuses coming up in another video, so stay tuned for that. The basic strategy is literally to use this table, which I'll put down in the description. And this is gonna give you the best shot at winning big and the best strategy for losing the least. Of course, keep in mind, in the long run, you will lose. All right, so stay tuned. That's it for the strategy. If you haven't played already and you wanna play, click the link in the description. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Hit that bell notification icon so you get notified when I put out the next video. I got another video that's gonna be coming up within the hour. Thank you so much for watching.